travel has been a really big pull for you. What what is it about travel, and how did you get into sort of being a travel writer? For to me, it looks like it's the best job in the world, but I'm sure that's not. Well, it probably is, but I mean, everything has has its downside. I think you know, to to travel all the time, to earn your living from travel, which can be quite meagre sometimes. You Mm. can have the most marvelous time. You can be, as I recently did, stayed in a sixty thousand euro a night villa in Venice, which was probably the most expensive place I've ever stayed in. And Tony, my husband and I, had it to ourselves with the butler. And a three-acre garden in Venice. Oh my goodness. Now, that was fantastic. I had to remind myself to be in the moment because it is about that. Yeah. Because that's, in, that's the enjoyable side of it. But there's always things that you have to do. You have to spend months negotiating to get that villa. Sure. You have to work while you're there and shoot it and interview people. And you have to write it when you get home. And some people want to stay in the villa, but they're not prepared to put the work into. Yeah. So I always say that, yes, it is the best job in the world, but... But there, there's not necessarily a downside, but you have to work for it too. There's no, yeah. no free travel either. No, I have no. To say, even if your ticket might be paid for by someone, <laughs> it's not free in the end. And also, you know, you have to ride these experiences like you've been there for a week and you've been lying around a pool or on some island or whatever it is. But essentially, as you say, you get there. It's never as long as you really want it to be. And you're sort of making notes and taking the mm. environment and, and all the while forming your story while you're there trying to relax and just enjoy it for what it is. And, you know, for a writer, actually, lying around in a p- by a pool is not a really great subject because <laughs> what do you say there's only so many ways you can say I'm blissed out yeah. and I struggle with those yeah. it's better to be in a city like Istanbul or New York or you know London or or in Africa where you've actually got something yeah. interesting that you can write about and that you can find out and can be for you and for your story so many people can write about lying by pools it's finding the other the other stuff that's the most interesting I think yeah, yeah.